This is Manchester, the heart of a city that lives and breathes football, and at its very core stands the pride of the town, the Etihad Stadium, the home of the best football club in Manchester. Manchester City The Etihad Stadium is always packed to the max on match days, but with tickets selling out too quickly, many devoted fans are left empty-handed. That's why Manchester City is undertaking a $300 million expansion plan, adding almost 8,000 new seats. Today, we'll give you the latest update on this massive expansion. We'll show you where the new seats are being added, the current state of the construction, and the additional features being built, all to create the best match day experience in the world. Here, beneath the watchful eyes of devoted fans, legends are born and history is made. It's where the genius of Pep Guardiola orchestrates the symphony of football, guiding stars like Erling Holland and Phil Foden to greatness. This is Manchester City. This is the Etihad Stadium. From hosting the Commonwealth Games to becoming a Premier League powerhouse, Manchester City Stadium has seen its fair share of action. But its biggest challenge yet? A $300 million expansion will turn it into a world-class sports and entertainment hub. We're talking 8,000 new seats, a 400-bed hotel, and a fan zone that could host its own festival. You might be feeling a mix of excitement and curiosity about this massive project. After all, it's not every day that such an iconic stadium gets a makeover of this scale. The Etihad Stadium, home to the noisy neighbors of Manchester, is where Pep Guardiola and the Light Blue Army play ball. This way, built in 2002 for the Commonwealth Games, the stadium found its true calling as Manchester City's home ground in 2003. Now, it's gearing up for its next big role. The 300 million expansion is no small feat. Adding 8,000 new seats is like inviting a small town to every match. As we dive deeper into this project, we'll explore the engineering challenges and community impact. But first, let's take a moment to appreciate Manchester's skyline, where the Etihad Stadium stands as a beacon of football glory amidst the city's industrial heritage. 2. Manchester. More than just football. Not many cities have two world-class football clubs in the same town. Milan in Italy, Madrid in Spain, London of course, and Manchester. That is a list to be proud of. The two Premier League powerhouses are within a stone's throw of each other. Manchester City and Manchester United, the red and blue halves of the city, are fierce rivals separated by just four miles. That's about the length of 70 football pitches laid end to end. While United's glory days are mostly in the rearview mirror, City has been on a meteoric rise, particularly since moving to the Etihad Stadium. This architectural marvel isn't just a place where Pep Guardiola works his magic. It's a symbol of Manchester's ongoing transformation. Picture the Manchester skyline. Amidst the Victorian mills and modern skyscrapers, the Etihad Stadium stands out like a futuristic spaceship that's touched down in the heart of the city. Its distinctive roof, supported by massive masts and cables, looks like it could take off at any moment. Maybe to celebrate another city victory, but the Etihad is more than just a pretty face in Manchester's urban landscape. It's become the beating heart of the local community in East Manchester. On match days, the area buzzes with energy as tens of thousands of fans converge on the stadium. It's like watching a giant blue tide sweep through the streets bringing with it a surge of excitement and economic activity. And there you have the problem. Only on match days, it is a fantastic place to be. The other days of the week, it's desolated, empty and grey. So they came up with a 300 million expansion plan to create a hub that's buzzing the entire week. The stadium expansion is just one piece of a much larger construction. There are plans for a new fan zone that could host its own music festival, a hotel where you could wake up to a view of the pitch and improved facilities that local clubs and schools will be able to use. It's like the whole area is getting a football-themed makeover. Danny Wilson, managing director of Manchester City Operations, puts it best. This development will not only enable the club to enhance and expand its offering to fans and visitors, 
but it will also create lasting, long-term economic and social benefits for our local community. It's not just about building the bigger stadium, it's about building a better future for East Manchester. Speaking of economic activity, let's talk numbers. The ongoing regeneration of East Manchester isn't just about football. It's about breathing new life into an area that was once the powerhouse of the Industrial Revolution. The Etihad Stadium expansion is set to create around 1,795 full-time jobs and over 3,000 jobs in total. That's like adding the entire workforce of a small town to the local economy. The goal? To transform East Manchester into a vibrant destination for sports and entertainment. Think of it as creating a mini-city within the city. A place that will attract visitors from around the corner and around the world. But first, the most important part, the North Stand expansion. The North Stand expansion is set to add approximately 7,900 new seats to the Etihad Stadium. That's like squeezing the entire population of a small town into the stands. This expansion is a complex dance of steel, concrete, and precision engineering. Think of it like adding an extra story to your house, but about 100 times more complicated. You can't just stack more seats on top of the existing ones and hope for the best. The engineers have to consider things like load-bearing capacity, sight lines, and even how the wind will interact with the new structure. One of the most innovative aspects of this expansion is the installation of a new steel framework to support the expanded north stand. This isn't your average DI project. We're talking about massive steel beams that could probably support the weight of a few jumbo jets. The precision required here is mind-boggling. But it's not just about making it bigger, it's about making it better. The expanded north stand will feature a sky bar and a stadium roof walk providing unique views of both the pitch and the Manchester skyline. Imagine sipping a drink while watching the sunset over Manchester with the pitch spread out below you like a green carpet. It's enough to make even the most jaded football fan weak at the knees. Safety, of course, is paramount. The integration of the new structures with the existing stadium is a delicate balancing act. The engineers are working tirelessly to ensure that the expanded north stand seamlessly blends with the rest of the stadium, both structurally and aesthetically. One of the biggest challenges is carrying out this massive construction project while the stadium is still in use. As Danny Wilson, Managing Director of Manchester City Operations puts it, the expansion is an ambitious project and you can really sense the scale of the development as construction progresses. It's like trying to renovate your kitchen while still cooking three meals a day. A logistical nightmare that requires careful planning, training, and execution. Construction is set to officially begin in November 2023, with the North Stand expected to be completed by the 2025-26 season. That might seem like a long time. But in the world of mega construction projects, it's practically the blink of an eye. Four. Beyond the pitch creating an entertainment hub, it is not every day that an iconic football ground transforms into a year-round entertainment hub. But that's exactly what's happening in Manchester. Picture the Etihad campus as a giant Lego set. The stadium expansion is just one piece of a much larger construction. The project aims to create a vibrant destination that will attract visitors from around the corner and around the world. It's like building a mini-city within the city centered around the love of football and entertainment. At the heart of this transformation is the new 3000 capacity fan zone. This isn't just a place to grab a quick burger before the match. It's designed to create a festival-like atmosphere on game days. Imagine 3000 fans. That's about the same number of people as the entire population of Vatican City, all gathered in one place, buzzing with excitement. The fan zone will feature food and drink outlets, creating a lively environment that encourages social interaction among supporters. The pre-match party will be so good, you might almost forget there's a game to watch. But the entertainment doesn't stop when the final whistle blows. The expansion plans include a 400-bed hotel that's set to redefine the concept of a room with a view. The hotel will feature a sky bar offering stunning vistas of both the pitch and the Manchester skyline. Imagine this. 
You're sipping a drink, watching the sunset over Manchester, while your favorite team trains on the pitch below. It's enough to make even the most hardcore football fan weak at the knees. The Etihad campus is also getting a new club shop and museum. It will be so cool. This is the place where you want to buy the latest kit. The new facility is expected to include a ticket office and an interactive visitor experience. It's like a one-stop shop for all things Manchester City, where fans can connect with the club's rich history and leave with a piece of it. These additions aren't just only about creating a better matchday experience. They're part of a broader vision to establish the Etihad campus as a premier year round destination for sports and entertainment. It's a bold move that sets a new standard for what a modern stadium complex can be. The project is transforming East Manchester, creating jobs, boosting the local economy, and providing a space for the community to come together. 5. Sustainability and Community Building for the Future Let's look at the green game plans. The expansion project isn't only about adding seats. It's about reducing seats. Talking car seats here. The club is implementing sustainable travel options to cut down on match day traffic. Imagine the 8,000 extra fans arriving not in a convoy of cars, but guided towards bikes, buses and trams. Everybody who comes with green transportation will get a VIP treatment compared to the fans who will arrive by car. They need to pay top dollar for the parking spot, and they need to walk quite far. The fans who are going by public transport or by bike are getting off next to the stadium. But the real MVP of this project. The economic impact. The expansion is set to inject $7 million annually into the local economy. That's like hosting a major tournament every year. But without the hassle of building new stadiums, it's also creating jobs, enough to fill the pitch several times over. Of course, not everyone was initially cheering for this project. Some local residents raised concerns about increased traffic and environmental impact. But the club didn't just brush these concerns aside. They engaged with the community, made adjustments to their plans, and even agreed to let local clubs and schools use parts of the campus. It's like inviting the neighbors over for a kickabout in your backyard, if your backyard was a world-class sports facility. Six. The future of football. More than just a game. From simple grass pitches to high-tech entertainment hubs, stadiums have come a long way. The Etihad project represents a new era where football grounds are becoming year-round destinations. It's like upgrading from a flip phone to a smartphone. Suddenly, you can do so much more than just make calls, or in this case, watch matches. When completed, this engineering marvel will be a must-see for anyone interested in sports, architecture, or urban planning. It's not just about the impressive numbers. 8,000 new seats, a 400-bed hotel, a 3,000-capacity fan zone. It's about how these elements come together to create a new kind of urban space. If you like expansion projects, take a look at the top 10 video we made of the completion of the Intuit Dome. Check it out. Thanks for watching and do ensure to like and subscribe for more stadium projects.